Hello and welcome to my channel dedicated to vitreoretinal surgery. My name is Assem Emiyadam. Uh, I work in Uppsala Academic uh, Hospital and I do some occasional cataract surgery as well. Uh, I'm going to present you a case of a patient who uh, has been treated for uh, wet AMD with anti-VGF treatment uh, monthly and during the last uh, case or the last injection, uh, the individual who was injecting accidentally uh, caused a tear in the posterior capsule. Uh, they had uh, the angle was not correct, and so the patient had developed a small tear, uh, and that's why the patient had developed focal cataract and it was referred to me. Uh, in case the lens would fall down to the vitreous body, I'd be ready to take care of it. But uh, my intentions for this case was to perform the surgery without any lens pieces falling back down. So you saw in the beginning of the case the tear right across the posterior capsule. I uh, performed a hydro delineation rather than hydrosection so that the tear would not expand and that lens would not fall back to the vitreous body in the beginning of the case. And here I'm doing a uh, FAC emulsification using a Centurion machine. Normally I work with either Dorx EVA machine or uh, Alkaline's Constellation machine, but they're not as stable for the anterior segment surgery as a uh, Centurion machine. And so uh, in a moment you'll see me removing the side instrument which is a chang chopper and filling the uh, anterior chamber with some viscoelastic and the reason is because i can now clearly see the uh, anterior face of the hyaloid presenting itself you see the circular uh, small tear there and i uh, what i think is that, that is that that's actually the tear in the anterior hyaloid rather than the tear in the posterior uh, capsule of the lens which is more uh, which is a much longer actually and now you can see more clearly the tear in the cap posterior capsule. Uh, so what's important is uh, taking your time when you perform the, the anterior vitrectomy. I, I, the machine has 4,000 cuts per minute, so it's much faster than the older Infinity machine. And once I've done a generous amount of vitrect anterior vitrectomy, I'll go back to IA mode to remove the rest of the epinucleus. And what I notice is that there's still a few strands of vitreous uh, coming forward, so I'll fill the uh, anterior chamber again with uh, viscoelastic. So you're going to be using a generous amount of viscoelastic, and uh, I personally use a cohesive viscoelastic, one called Amvis Plus, which works fine, which works fine in this case. So more anterior vitrectomy. The goal here is to preserve the anterior capsule because you're going to want to put the eye well in the sulcus. Uh, or an, uh, uh, as I had planned actually, a, uh, an optic capture. So the uh, rexus, capsule rexus, went, was intentionally made slightly smaller than five millimeters in order to get a proper overlap over the optic, lens optic. And so I continue struggling with the, uh, carefully struggling with the epinucleus of the remaining lens. Taking the other side, being careful not to allow the rift of the tear to continue around the capsule and reach the anterior part, which would pretty much um, render uh, a sulcus placement of an eye well uh, impossible. And you'd, use, you'd need to, uh, in that case, use a different kind of secondary eye well implantation, either in a scleral fixated one or an iris fixated one. a bit more strands there's still a bit a few more vitreous strands coming forward so as i said normally i perform vitreoretinal surgery and but this case was referred to me if simply because uh, it would have been risky for an interior segment surgeon uh, to perform this in case the lens pieces fall back down. So I fill with viscoelastic just, just prior to removing the, the uh, irrigation. A bit more vitrectomy 
and here I will inject uh, some uh, slightly diluted uh, triamcinolone nerd to dye color and the remaining uh, vitreous strands which should be cut. You could also in inject the triamcinolone early on but personally I try to do it in the end in order to just see if there's anything remaining it in, in order to cut it out. There's a small tiny piece of cortex left uh, around one o'clock, but I, I, I remove it later on. There's no me need to uh, provoke the capsule anymore. So you see, this is a Technus said a nine zero zero three. Uh, I well from uh, Johnson & Johnson placed in the sulcus. Uh, it's not that evident but uh, the optic here is actually in the bag while the uh, haptics are outside the bag. So, so you see I've rotated it a little bit. It is a, a, a very stable uh, inside the bag. A high uh, IA of the remaining viscoelastic with low infusion pressure, so I don't uh, distort any uh, eye wall placement. Hydration. I saw the patient the next day, and the lens was very stable. Uh, this is her best eye as well, so I'm very glad the surgery went very well. Thank you for watching.